ناظرین آپ کو لندن سے خبر دے رہے ہیں برطانیہ کے شہر لندن میں یونیورسل پیس فیڈریشن کی زیر احتمام روہنگیا مسلمانوں کے لیے فنڈ ریزنگ پروگرام کا انعقاد کیا گیا جس میں تمام مذاہب کی اہم شخصیات نے بھرپور شرکت کی اس تقریب میں خاص طور پر شیخ عبد القیوم اور ڈاکٹر احمد علی دابیان اور برطانیہ کے تاجر سیاسی اور سماجی رہنما بھی موجود تھے اس تقریب میں ایک لاکھ پاؤنڈ فنڈ اکٹھا کیا گیا تقریب کے شرکا کا کہنا تھا کہ وہ مظلوم روہنگیا مسلمانوں کشمیری مسلمانوں شامی فلسطینی اور دنیا بھر کے مسلمانوں کے ساتھ ہر ممکن مدد کرتے رہیں گے اور خاص طور پر روہنگیا مسلمانوں پر جو ظلم ہوا یا ہو رہا ہے اس کے ذمہ داروں کو قانون کے کٹہنے میں لا کر رہیں گے اس حوالے سے دیکھیے نمائندہ خصوصی تہلکن اورنگ زیب کی یہ رپورٹ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Our our sister uh, sister Najma uh, Hafiz she comes all the way from the Birmingham mashallah she's doing a lots of good work. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, and little Saima over there, can I welcome you all very much indeed into this beautiful building? What better place can we be in than the building? which deals with so frustrated. And I thought, what is the world coming to? Where is human rights? Where is dignity for women and mothers and little children? Oh, Activists so in the community. I'm so pleased because all of us together can make a difference. Thank you. It's a great event we are here today, tonight. And for the others who organize this, lawyers and imams the extent of the India and different political um, Queen Mary Collins when I was about 17 <coughs> my grandfather was a member of parliament during the democratic period time of Burma from 1950s to 1962 my mother grandfather was the first judge in Arkana State today Burmese government is and military say I'm not exist as a Rohingya. Indonesia has called Rohingya the most persecuted minority group in the world and described the atrocity by Myanmar authority as an ethnic cleansing when they accept. We are going to soon to prove there is a, there is a genocide. They say slow genocide, high genocide, I talk to the... I talk and domestic criminal law. I've worked at the Khmer Rouge Tribunal in Cambodia and I worked on the Litvin Yankee. Say a few words about what we wish to achieve in terms of the Myanmar inquiry. First and foremost, you must note, and I must stress that this is totally a humanitarian and not a political view. In the name of Allah, the merciful, the beneficent. <coughs> Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the universe, peace and blessings of our, all of us upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad, his family and his companions. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to begin by greeting you all with Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. Today we are gathered here today to do something simple. I don't have a habit of beating around the bush, for those of you who know me. I'm quite direct. You've heard the speeches, you've heard the plight of the people of Rohingya, both from somebody who is Rohingya himself and from others. Man and woman and children who are crying out saying prayers. I do. Grace a protector and grace for us out of your grace. I've been to Rohingya myself. I've been to desperately looking to escape the persecution from the Burmese junta. Find a uh, solution uh, to this crisis and particularly the deterrence of this work uh, will have great effect. So we, we hope, we pray um, and we will support uh, these activities and uh, I'm very grateful also for Sheikh Ramsey, he's the director of, of UBS. Um, my name is Michael Polak, I'm a barrister at the English Bar. I practice in international human rights, international criminal law, uh, and cr uh, domestic criminal law. Uh, and I've been, I've been working uh, here with this organization to set up a, an inquiry into the Myanmar. 
Hello, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much. So I just wanted to ask why you are here today. And oh, so my name is Diana Constantinaidi. I'm one of the barristers dealing with the inquiry, the independent inquiry. And we're here today to fundraise and to make sure that you know justice is brought before the world and to make sure that we reveal in an independent manner what has happened in Myanmar. Myanmar? Yeah. Um, I believe it is very important to examine the evidence first of all before we come into any conclusions. So therefore, if it is happening and we've seen it and it's been in the media, it is very important for us to examine it and to come to a very solid and concrete solutions and decisions as to if it, that has happened. To governments so that they can change their ways. So it's alerting the public, it's alerting nations, and uh, it's bringing a growing awareness of the problems that are facing this world. It's happened well, the Syrian people. Uh, well, it's interesting that these issues are coming up now, and uh, particularly that two people are able to bring about a forum like this to highlight these issues of bordering on human rights violations and then for awareness for the world to support and uh, make sure that this kind of suffering is minimized amongst people. Uh, the essence of uh, the sustainable development goals in the United Nations is to minimize poverty, eradicate poverty, if necessary, and then for prosperity for peoples of, of the world. And we believe that uh, this is a step in the right direction. Okay, my name is Ronke Ali Adofia, and I'm from, I'm the uh, first vice chair of an association called uh, Central Association of Nigerians in the UK. So, and that's been around since uh, 2005. And we uh, make sure that we work with various communities, including our own, in terms of progressing with very important issues. So indeed, it's an, oh, it's an absolute honor that I'm here today in identifying with the issues that are being spoken about today. मुसलमानों के साथ जो जुल्म जो जातियां हो रही हैं जो और अभी तक जो लिप सर्विस यूनाइटेड नेशन ने दूसरे मुल्कों ने जो रवैया अख्तियार किया है उसको हमें चैलेंज करना चाहिए और हर सूरत में उनकी मदद करनी चाहिए माली हो दाली हो किसी तरह से इवन वहां जाना भी पड़े जाके हमें हमें हमारा ये फर्ज बनता है कि हम उनकी मदद करें टुडे दिस इवेंट इज कॉल्ड जस्टिस फॉर रोहिंग्या वी नो द एट्रोसिटी and the torture that people are facing. So today's event was to get people together, important people, and we've raised nearly £100,000 so that we can help the people of Rohingya. But also, what we've done is to ensure that we get our voice across to United Nations, International Human Rights Commission, and all the senior people who make decisions. We want the disaster in Rohingya to be recognized. That is why here. I'm delighted with the turnout. I'm delighted with the people who are helping. And we are so proud that together, if we stand together, we can really do something. You know, I went there myself, so I have seen with my own eyes the suffering that's going on. And what I want to say to all the people there, the people who are suffering, the people, the charities who are working so hard, and the people who are trying to make it better, please, please do not give up hope. Do not despair. You are not alone. Your plight is being heard and is being seen by many of us here. Inshallah, we will do everything in our power to help you. Thank you very much. Ma'am.